This is CBS 8 News Live at 11. So glad you're with us here. I'm Eric Connor. And I'm Netta Irampour, a Marine on the U.S. Marshals list of most wanted fugitives in the nation is now in custody. And we're just now learning that he will arrive here in San Diego tomorrow morning. U.S. Marshals arrested Raymond McLeod in El Salvador yesterday morning. He's wanted for the brutal murder of his girlfriend, Crystal Mitchell. She was found dead in a San Diego apartment back in 2016. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal joining us now downtown with what the victim's mother had to say here this morning. Kelly? Yeah, that's right. You know, and as you can imagine, she is relieved that McLeod is now in custody. This is a day she has been waiting for for a very long time. Her daughter left behind two children who are now almost teenagers. I spoke to her this morning and she got a little emotional. I feel, you know, an accomplishment that, you know, for Crystal, for my daughter, she must be laughing in heaven and saying, right on, mom, you go on, mom. And that's been my motivation. It's justice for my daughter and my grandchildren and justice. Catching him just brings that sense of relief and accomplishment that we did it, that I did everything I could for my daughter. And Josephine Funes Wenzel is a former detective and actually spent years helping the U.S. Marshals try to track down Raymond Samuel McLeod Jr. They got tips he was in Mexico, Guatemala, Belize. Yesterday, authorities tracked down the former Marine in El Salvador, and Wenzel says he had a Canadian passport, a Canadian name, and had been teaching English in a small town, and that he looked like he had aged quite a bit, like he was in his 50s. Uh, you know, but this is a case that landed on the U.S. Marshals' top 15 most wanted list. Crystal Mitchell was 30. 30 years old when she was killed. She was from Phoenix. She and McLeod were visiting friends in San Diego back in June of 2016 when she was found dead in an apartment. McLeod was named the prime suspect, but by the time the arrest warrant went out, uh, he had already fled. A $50,000 reward was offered, and finally yesterday, he was taken into custody. Now, back out here live, again, we are hearing that McLeod will arrive here in San Diego around 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. That is what we're hearing from the U.S. Marshal's office. Uh, Wenzel says she will be flying to San Diego. Diego for his arraignment, uh, which could happen as early as the end of this week.